Is that a booby? Put it back. What? Put it back. On today's episode of JP and Julia, JP and Julia are traveling from Tokyo to Kyoto, the original capital of Japan, which is basically Tokyo in reverse. See that? Mind blown. On their way there, they get to see Mount Fuji a bunch of times. See? There it is. It's beautiful. It's a famous landmark. But more importantly, it's an emoji, so you can express yourself with a mountain. And of course, we get to eat food. Bento style. This spot was organized through the tour, so we're not entirely sure how authentic this is to Japanese food, but it was a great experience to at least be forced to try a huge variety of things we've never had before, such as tofu salad with crab meat, bean curd skin and seaweed. Oh, that's the best description for food. Not bad. The sweet soy sauce meatballs were what you'd expect. Tastes like Walmart. The chicken vegetable roll was interesting, and the omu rice or Japanese omelette was incredible. Not good. Probably the best omelette I've ever had. But this taro potato was so different. I mean, it almost doesn't look like food, but it's soft and surprisingly tastes like a potato. I can get that. I like it. I like pumpkin. That's why I like you, because I call you my pumpkin. You're a pumpkin. Look at you, you have a pumpkin head. And then what's this? Dried wheat gluten. The dried wheat gluten was probably my least favorite thing, mainly due to its wet and spongy texture. That is just weird. I almost finished mine. Look at it. Wheat noodles and mountain vegetable broth. It's one thing I really like about Japanese culture is that slurping is acceptable. It's good, right? And of course, saving the best for last, we have a variety of deep fried things. See, you get some fried chicken after all. Look at that. JFC, baby. Very good. It's pretty darn good, but I almost would say that the shaka shaka from McDonald's is like one step ahead of this. All of it was really good, very different, great variety. Moving on. Did they leave without us? Oh my god. <gasps> no, no, no. Is that a tiny horse? Knows exactly what kids want. Poop in toilets and poop slingshots. Delicious. I think it suits you. Now it looks like you work here. Red one hot drink. Blue one cold drink. You can get soup out of a vending machine. Look at that. It's so easy. Is it different than normal? It's got that. Oh That's yeah. Pretty cool. Nothing like a refreshing Mountain Dew to start your day. Oh. Hashtag not sponsored. Good. <laughs> I got energies now. Good. That's what you need after all that crutching around. And now a montage of JP walking around a lot when he should be staying off of his foot. Careful, it's a little bit slippery. This is gonna be the tough part. I'm following you. Up the stairs to the bus we go. He can do it. Okay. Can somebody tell me how this works? Do 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 people really do this? Okay. Do you want to see if there's a snack you like? They got Coca-Cola, coffee, tea. Look at that. Golden soft ice cream. Okay, let's get that. Ugon soft though. One please. Matcha and vanilla and with the gold on top. I love gold. Cookies. Oh, thank you. Oh, does that was? Oh, you licked it off. <laughs> you got gold in your teeth. <laughs> this is our breakfast, by the way. Gold just makes everything taste better, <laughs> even though it has no flavor. <laughs> it's like sweet rice cracker. Ooh, nice. It's actually pretty awesome. This looks like a crunch berry. It's a crunch berry. This ice cream is so awesome is it literally got Captain Crunch on it. It kind of tastes like one. You got gold on your mouth. That one looks good too. Green tea cookie? Oh, it's amazing. We're never leaving. I've liked everything I've had here. You look great. Yeah. Did you go to the bathroom already? Yeah. Someone's lucky that gets to go in after me. 
Because there's gold in there. I was gonna do the whole Mario Kart thing in Tokyo, but I feel like this is even better. <laughs> I think he thinks something's in your pocket. I feel violated. I don't do this on the first day. Oh, they're gonna attack. Save them. Walk away. No. <laughs> no. They know you got it. They're all coming after you. Alright, <laughs> that's happy place! That's happy place! Julian, you're out. I got my cord! I got my cord! Oh, oh they just headbutted me! <laughs> You gotta feed one, then they're gonna kill you. As JP and Julia aimlessly wander around Kyoto, they discover takoyaki, a Japanese snack typically filled with octopus tossed in a wheat flour based batter fried in these special pans. This menu had a variety of options, so JP and Julia went with the tako sen, which is basically a takoyaki rice cracker sandwich. Probably about four bucks for this thing here. It's, it's got cheese, and takoyaki, teriyaki sauce, and also mayonnaise. Oh, hot. Yeah, you said it was gonna be really hot. Did you burn yourself? Mm -hmm. I like how they even put it on that little stick like that. Oops. Oh my heaven. <laughs> it's so good. It's like pancake dough stuffed with seafood. The flavor is delicious. And there's cheese. And it's just a pretty thing. Thank you so much for the recommendations. We would not know what to try here in Japan without you. And if you're not yet following Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, head over there because you would be getting some behind the scenes sneak peeks of things that are gonna be coming out on the interwebs. We love you. These takoyakis are delicious. I thought you said you weren't hungry. Uh, this is worth it. <laughs>